viewers to another episode in a series of episodes that are focused on the 2024 GCE Mathematics paper team. So if you haven't seen the other episode, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the screen. You find a lot of resources that is going to be helpful to ensure that you armor and ace that exam of yours. Let us look at question 2. Answer the all of this question on a sheet of plain paper. Question A. Construct a quadrilateral PQRS in which PQ equals 10 cm. Angle SPQ is equal to 70 degrees. QR equals 6.5 cm. PS equals to 5 cm. And SR equals 7 cm. B. Measure and write the angle PQR. C. On your diagram, construct the locus of points within the quadrilateral PQRS, which are 3 cm from PQ, Roman numeral 2, equidistant from PS and SR. D. L is a point inside quadrilateral PQRS such that it is 3 cm from PQ and equidistant from PS and SR. Label the point L. Question E, M is another point inside quadrilateral PQRS such that it is less than or equal to 3 cm from PQ and nearer to PS than E to SR. Indicate clearly by shading the region in which M must lie. So these are the questions and this question always comes in construction. This question is composed is on section M. So once you know how to answer questions on this just go through one or two questions that you'll be able to find on our companion app that i advise you to download or you can check on our youtube channel you'll also be able to find a playlist which contains construction you just need to go through two or three questions then you understand the general concept so let us see answer this question step by step we're going to go to question m so question a is asking us to construct a quadrilateral pqrs in which PQ is equal to 10 centimeters. So the first thing that you need to do is have a rough draft. Draft on your plain paper before you even start drawing so that you understand how it will look and how it will sit. So if you notice we have PQ which is 10 centimeters. So this is the longest distance. I can just come here and say this is PQ. Just a laugh. Then I have QR. QR which is 6.5 cm, then have PS which is 5 cm, then SR which is 7 cm, SR which is 7 cm. So I know I have PS, I can do this, maybe this is PS which is 5 cm, then this is 10 cm the longest, then I have uh, QR which is 6.5, then I have 7 cm, so it will be something like this where this is R, then this is 7 centimeter, then this is 6.5 centimeter. So this is how the shape will look. So I have an idea of how it will look, then I can start drawing. So let me just line you through on how we draw this one. So the first thing that you need a ruler, you need a compass, you need a protractor. So technically speaking, these are the instruments that you need for you to answer this question. So you notice that these are the things that I talked about. Once you have a sketch, it's easier for you to see. So once you answer the first question A and B, this is how it should look. So the first one is asking us to construct the quadrilateral. So you have a peak which is 10 cm. So you just, after you construct, you like this is to be 10 cm. So this will be 10 cm. Use your pencil. Then I have PS, which is 5 cm. Then I have SR which is 7 cm, then I have 6.5 which is uh, QR, cm like that. So what is the first step? The first step is it drawing the longest, like I said there, use your, your ruler, so you draw the longest part. Once you draw the longest part, then you measure this angle, use this instrument, then once you find that angle, then you are going to get the compass. So get the compass here and measure on the ruler from up to 5 cm. Then you make this arc. So once you make this arc, these are the arcs that we'll be looking for. Then you join this line up to the point of the arc. 
So that's the first point. Then the second one, then you'd have drawn these two. You would have drawn these two. The next step is to measure the seven centimeter, which is this one, SR. Measure seven centimeter, get the compass. Once you get the compass, then you come and measure on this ruler seven centimeter. Uh, then you, you pin here, then you make this arc. So this arc will be seven centimeter. Then you come to where PQ is ending, at Q here, where 10 centimeter is ending. Then you come and measure this 6.5 centimeter. Then you also use the compass, then you make this arc. So where these two arcs are meeting, that's where R will be. Then you just join these points and join these points. Then at the end of the day, you are going to end up with him. What we are looking for, which is the quadrat four, and it will look clean because you would have drawn it properly. So these are the steps that you follow to answer this question. So the, the shape will look like this. That's how it's going to look. Then once you do this, then you should be able to get these two marks. Then question B says measure and the right angle PQR. Again, this instrument will be critical. Then you just come and measure this angle. Once you measure this angle, which is PQR, this angle should be 77 degrees. Approximately, that should be the degree of the angle. Then you are good to go. Then we we'll move to other questions, which is question C. On your diagram, construct the locus of points within quadrat for PQRS which are 3 cm from PQ. Again this question comes to be 3 cm, 2 cm from, 4 cm from. So we are saying from PQ. So you need to understand the line. This is the line PQ. Then how do you find points that are from this line which are 3 cm? Again you are going to get a ruler like we had the ruler. Then you put here the compass and measure the 3 cm. So once you measure the 3 centimeters, for example, 3 centimeters is somewhere here, technically speaking, I have 3 centimeters from here to here. Then you measure here, then you come and pin on any of these lines, then you make this arc. Then again, on the other one, you make this arc. Then you join the points, use a ruler to join these two points, make a straight line. So all these points are 3 centimeters from PQ. That's how you answer this question. Once you do that, then you should be able to go and you'll be able to get some good marks which is in this case you have one mark so look at loma and two of sin it could distance from ps and sr so you could distance from ps and sr what you notice is s is common so look at when you stand at c you draw this line that will pass through c this line will be in such a way that this distance should be equal to this distance then this distance should be equal to this distance. That's what it means. So how can we answer this question? You need two important instruments for you to answer this question. So you have a ruler and the other instrument. So what you do is you come at S where we are looking at. So at S you extend this one to a given uh, length. If you want you can measure it but maintain it so in such a way that when you put at s then you make this arc and make another arc here without changing the length then again you come here and now make this arc and at this point you make another corresponding arc so in such a way then you need to place a ruler there then draw a, a line that will pass through this intersection that's the line you're looking for this line so once you do that this line will be equidistant like it, that. So that's how you do it. So if you look at this one, you notice that this is how this line was achieved. So you notice the arc I talked about this arc and this arc and the point of intersection between these two arcs, then the line passes through through S. Once you do that, then you would have answered that question and you get those two marks. Then you can go to the last two questions. Dim L is a point inside the quadrilateral PQRS such that it is 3 cm from PQ. The 3 cm line is this line. This line. And you could distance from PS and DSR. Label the point L. So the points that are you could distance from PS and DSR are these points on this line. So the point of intersection should be L. The point of intersection is the L. 
that's what you do to get this to max in m is another point inside quadrilateral pqrs such that it is less than or equal to 3 cm from pq and nearer to ps than it to sr indicate clearly by shading the region in which m must lie so here we just need to shed the region in which m must lie remember we have already labeled l let me just see this is l then we are saying it is in such that it is less than or equal to 3 cm from pq so you see below then nearer to p s than sr so nearer to ps this is this side so you know this is this region is much more clear like this region you're looking for this is the region where m must lie so you shade that region then once you do that you are good to go you get these good two marks once you do that you would have answered that question then you work out of the exam smiling thank you for joining me in this episode join me in the next episode as we look at question three